Okay, so, hello, hello, welcome to Adventure Time, explore the dungeon, because I don't know. My name is Sifo, and uh, we are going to figure out what this game is all about. And uh, let me just say, I've been playing this for a while. I'll just hit start. I love that. And play game. Wait, 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 let's go back. Can I go back? No, I can't. It doesn't matter. As you can see, I have uh, reached level 70. Now, I'll delete this one here and make a new one so you guys can see the opening story and whatnot and the little training demo thing. So let's uh, begin a new game. My name is Player. Just give me an A there. Oh yeah. Fully sick. Let's choose Finn, shall we? And let's begin the game. I'll be quiet while these lovely movies begin so you can enjoy them fully. Okay, so as you can see, the art style is perfectly Adventure Time. Okay, team. These prisoners are a serious problem. Yes, they are. So, this is basically what the whole game looks like. If you're wondering, you know, why is there high definition? Goodness! I love it. I love this art style. Anyway. Not only are they taking our stuff, but several citizens of the Candy Kingdom have disappeared recently, and I suspect foul play. On top of that, most of the kingdom's treasure is missing, too. They must be stockpiling it down there. We need to make a calculated strike on the secret royal dungeon. The escaped prisoners can't know we're coming. Right now, they're scattered. Alone. Afraid. We can't allow them to organize. Makes sense. That said, we should take some time and go over gameplay basics. Please follow me. Alright, now this game, um, I'm pretty sure it's because of my old television. I'm getting a new one someday soon. Should be delivered today, but you know, couriers. Anyway, um, it's a slight delay in blocking. It's probably this all my is fault. This a special area of the dungeon used to train my banana guards. As I explained before, these prisoners are escaping somehow and crawling around where they don't belong. The bastards. You won't accomplish much just standing around. So get moving. Move around. All right, moving around. Now you can use the uh, analog stick or the directional buttons. And I find that the directional buttons, I don't know, they work a bit better in this game because it's really, you know, left, right, up, down. Left, right, up, down. And you can kind of go diagonally like this. Um, let me just try and... There we go. While moving around, watch out for pits and other traps. 
Except for Marceline, of course. She can float right over them. Yeah. The easiest way to attack is by pressing the square button. You can hold it down to charge up a charge attack. If you get hit, your thump meter will decrease. You only have so many thumps, and then you'll pass out. Remember to hold down attack for a much cooler charge attack. Give it a shot. Try defeating these prisoners for me. All right. So, square for a nice, simple, sweeping sword attack. Like so. Holding it down, you can also move around quite slowly and then unleash it. Da 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 da. Uh, so come here, come here, come on, watch ya. Yeah. It's pretty simple, but it is fun. Fun as anything. As you fight things, notice your imagination meter increases. I'm not sure why. When it's full, you can use your special attack. Okay, now the imagination meter is that a little bit under your hearts, your thumps, and it's currently a little bit full of orange goodness. I'm guessing you'll find a lot of extra weapons in the dungeon. Let's call them sub weapons. Here's some bamboo poles to practice with. Why not go pick one up? These aren't very effective, unfortunately, but it's the best I could do on short notice. Ah, oh, jeez. See? More prisoners. May as well try out the bamboo pole. Now, she doesn't actually tell you what button to press, but it is triangle. You just whack them. You can't whack them. You'll never defeat them with the pole. Just use your standard attacks. You can whack them, you know, basically it's just a knockback. Now, I don't think it does any damage. Maybe light, very light damage. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't really do much. Now, using a sub weapon. You can block attacks with the block button. Hit a direction while blocking, and you can dodge. You can block to decrease the damage received from melee attacks. You can't block projectiles. Unless, if you time your block perfectly, it will deflect all damage and destroy even projectiles. I don't know what this is exactly, but it tends to throw things. Let's see if you can time your block perfectly and destroy the projectile. Perfect! See, it's not as hard as you thought. Each one of you also has an innate ability. It's quite likely these abilities will come in handy during your journey. You can read about innate abilities and a lot more on this stat screen. See? Now, uh, Finn's ability is equip three tokens. Now, tokens come in later in the game, and you get uh, special bonuses like um, reduced damage or increased speed, and they are very handy. So Finn's actually quite good. I mean, you can combine them, like one can extra give you extra block, one can make you in invincible by by blocking, and one can make you block all directions. So yeah, you can use them to strategize. Those are your stats. Some people may help you upgrade stats if these don't seem sufficient. Anyway, we have wasted enough time here. This is all pretty standard stuff. I just wanted to remind you. Alright, so now I'm going to pause recording and uh, staple on a later video so you guys can see what it's like later on. Um, so yeah, feel free to walk around, but don't wander too far. You've got an important job to do. Make sure you talk to me when you're ready to start the mission. Not to complicate things, but I'll be giving you quests apart from your main mission. I'll reward you for completing them though. For your first quest, I want you to return with 10 treasures shouldn't be that hard. Now, if you guys want me to do like a, a let's play or something of this, just let me know in the comments section below. Um, I will do, uh, sorry about that, I, I will, I'll do a later video after I show you the very first dungeon. I think that makes a lot so of sense. Ready, then? But I'll stay in communication via the hollow pendant. It will also allow me to teleport you to the surface every few floors, I think. Before you go into the dungeon, I'll let you equip various tokens. They can help you out in a lot of ways. You don't have any yet, though, because they're found in dungeons. But keep it in mind for next time. Oh, any treasure you find is yours to spend until you re-enter the dungeon. At that point, I'll need to collect leftover treasure as taxes. It's the law. Okay, I'll just show you that you can swap to... Currently, we only have three other characters. We have 
This is cinnamon bun here. You can dodge to shove those. I actually have not used it much at all. Good old Jake here, he just... Yeah, you wanna... He just walks over pits, and Marceline... looks like you could use a little help. ...can absorb red shots for imagination. Guess you're on your own. Which is pretty fun. Now, you can upgrade your stats here. This one is upgrading imagination. Imagination is a wonderful ability that lets us see our friends whenever we want. Join me in imagining a better world of friendship, won't you? And that costs 175 That's treasures. Fine. I can always dream on my own. Ah, this one here, Princess, uh, oh, Unicorn? Uni Unicron? Rain, rain, Rainicorn! Lady Rainicorn. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's Japanese. I'm probably mistaken, sorry about that. So that's a hundred treasures to upgrade your focus. Which I'm not entirely sure what that does. I think that increases the rate you generate imagination, but I could be wrong. Probably am wrong. This person here increases your rowdiness, which is basically your melee or whatever attack damage you do. Rowdiness is a measure of strength, and how much mischief one can cause with attacks. Yes, Muscle Princess. Are you dedicated enough to master my regimen and increase your rowdiness? Not right now, as I have zero treasures. That's why you are soft. Squishy and soft. Yes, it's true. I am squ squashy and squaffed. Wait, what? The statistic known as thumps marks one's hearts, one's very life energy. Might you be interested in a thump upgrade? I know a thing or two about matters of the heart. Not right now, as I have oh, zero shame. treasures. Perhaps another. Yes, yes, yes. Now, over here, if you are a fan of the series, I don't want to spoil it, but he is here as well. And you can buy different things from him later on. And you can talk to the banana guards, but they usually have just like tips for you or just silly things. Whenever you want to enter the dungeon, talk to the princess, or even just walk up to the entrance. See, I didn't even know that. You can walk up to the entrance? No, you can't. What on earth are you on about? Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, if you just can't get anywhere in the dungeon, I'm sure the princess will make it easier somehow. Alright, now over here will be some characters later on. I will try and not spoil it for you too bad. If you want to play this game, it's brilliant. So let's just get into the dungeon, shall we? Let's do floor one. So you're positive. Yes, I am. Now this is where your tokens are. There are, of course, quite a lot. I have not unlocked all of them yet. But there are plenty full of them. As you can see, I'm on level of floor 70, and this is floor 1, and have not unlocked all of them yet, so there's quite a few. Now, I won't play this entire secret royal dungeon floor 1, and these loading screens, I have to say, are some of the funniest things I've read in a long time. So, here we are. This is a dungeon. Typical thing. This is a monster spawner here. <laughs> And uh, when you drop, uh, when when you kill skeletons, uh, sometimes uh, when you kill anything, sometimes they drop food, food. and uh, treasure. Gold piece. Lovely. So it's basic in this level. And later on, you get switches with doors. Uh, the exits are blocked by by them, or you have to do certain things. This mathematical. mathematical. There's uh, certain timed floors, or whatnot. Ow! As you can see, I missed it, and I took, I took half damage by blocking, so I missed the uh, perfect... Aha! Here is a cool sub-weapon. It's called a kitten gun. Wish I had one in real life. I mean, isn't that just brilliant? So, now these are one of these pickups. This is a stopwatch that basically stops time. Now you can press select to see the exit there, which is just stairs on the map. The map is, of course, very basic, but it's like an old school game, which is just brilliant. Ow! Sorry about that, Finn. I have a bit of delay on this old television, but uh, hopefully it'll be fixed on my new one arrives. But it's still playable. Now, what do we got here? now those are ammo for your sub-weapons that uh, shoot things. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I'm not going to say what other ones there are. Uh, there's swords and different...
guns, but I don't want to actually spoil the names for you because it's brilliant. Ah, as you can see, there's a chest. I'm not too sure how to get to that yet. Uh, well, maybe Finn can't because sometimes there. Uh, yeah, had to do that. Sorry. Sometimes there are areas that you cannot go across because you're on a character that cannot fly, or in case of Jake, uh, stretch over pits or water or lava. Yeah, the lovely things. Okay, here's a chest. Let's hope it is really a chest full of goodies. Okay, it's a thump token, which basically you put it on. Uh, tokens also one use, by the way. You, you put it on before a dungeon and it, uh, it's get used up. So but they do stack. Uh, you can have, I think I've had five stacked or seven, one of them. So anyway, this has been Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. My name is Sifo. If you've liked this video, I thank you for liking the video. But if you'd like the video, then like the video. That makes no sense at all because you're new to YouTube, then I thank you and leave a comment. Anyway, take care everyone. Until next time, let me know if you liked my video. That way, I'll like you back. Where's this go? Okay, so at the end of the floor, it gives you a summary of treasures and goodies that you've picked up. And you continue to floor two. Now you continue. Why did the bear fail his job interview? He wasn't qualified. Teddy bear joke book. I love it. So anyway, <laughs> there you go. If you want me to continue online let's play or anything like that then let me know and uh, maybe I will maybe I won't anyway till next time take care everyone and bye bye